Okie dokie. Let's get this show on the road. Um, so yeah, the, the main thing I want to do tonight in the game is last time we added item box. You can kind of see them here. Good. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Um, and they kind of work, but they don't fully work, actually. So, you know, I can go in here, I can swap items. I, I don't know why that's messed up. I guess that's another thing I can look at. The weird thing is, it's fine until you swap an item, then it just doesn't know where to put this index cursor specifically. Very weird. Especially since every other slot still works just fine. Also, this menu seems to work better than the actual, like, inventory menu over here, where it just picks a random slot where it wants to start, and sometimes it doesn't do the controls properly. I don't know what's up with that, but, um, we'll get that fixed eventually. Why did I do that? Um, alright, enter is the close game button. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna get this fully working. Uh, let me. I didn't even really show why it's not working. So mainly, so I picked an item up, right? We got this item now. If I go here, the item's not there. <laughs> like it didn't sync my inventory between my inventory in this menu versus my inventory in the other menu. But if I leave the room and come back, it will sync. So not great, but still somewhat serviceable. Problem is, now if I go put this in the inventory, it once again doesn't sync. It still says I have this, which is weird. Actually, I didn't even test this. Oh, well, that's just completely out of control over there. Oh, okay, this cursor ended up down there for some reason. This might be related to what's going on. But I think, yeah, it didn't even, like, sync this back. Yeah, each time the offset gets more and more wrong with slot one. Don't know what's up with that. Weird. Um, I might need to check the hierarchy of things there. Tuning it up, nice. Good stuff. Yeah, so we got a couple bugs to fix, I guess, in short. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And possibly more. I kinda wanna, um, model some stuff. Oh, okay, so that's interesting, too. I guess the UI is not updating, that's sort of the main issue. There's two problems, right? So, we only actually banked that item once. Did I make that? Oh, uh, no. I made the animation, but this is just like a free, low-poly human model that you, that's already got bones in it. So I just made some animations off of it. Really just those two animations right now. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's one thing that I may potentially be working on tonight. I want to make a human in my own style. I mean, you may notice one thing that's already missing from this guy. It's, he's got no ass. Um, anyway, the other problem here is that I can just keep putting the same item in the item box because it's not actually saving that it, it went away. So I need some connective tissue. Oh, that's even weirder. It actually isn't doing that. The weird thing is, though, this item still exists in my inventory and I can still mess with it and stuff. But it seems to not recognize... You know what? Actually, let me check this out. If I reset everything here... Still just one of these. Um. Oh, it's also through an error there. I didn't see that. That's probably not the issue, but maybe it is. So I basically, I think I just need a sync function to call between the player inventory and the player item box. Then everything will be just fine. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put this in slot four instead of slot one. And I'm curious, it's either just putting everything in slot 1, or it's doing something else that's weird. Okay, so it's putting anything that's past slot 1 just seems to not go in there. Alright, we got we got our bugs. Uh, failed to load packed scene, blah blah blah. Item generator. Okay. Um, so it had an empty string. <laughs> That's not good. Um, why did it try to do that? <laughs> oh, 
I always forget about this song. Or rather, I forget that it's a Resident Evil song. Let's see the full stack here. This might give me a clue. Stop opening Visual Studio, please. Okay, item generator, data saver, scene changer. Not really uh, helpful there. Oh yeah, no, load item box. Okay, so when it's loading the item box, it's called generate item. Please open this. Uh, Visual Studio, no, it didn't crash, it's over here. Uh... Oh, actually, yeah, hold on. Found item blank in item box slot blank. Let me go look for that in our logs. Uh, that'd be in the output. Found item blank in slot three. What? <laughs> um, the more interesting thing about that is... Oh my gosh! Okay, that explains a couple things, actually. So yeah, forget the inventory, we'll want the item box. That should fix all the stuff with it not going into the right slot there. Um, Copy-paste error. You love to see it. So now I should be able to put my items in any slot. Um, I don't think that's going to fix the UI highlighting issue. I, I'm especially confused by the highlighting issue where it's like... Um, putting things way off in... Or, uh, it moved, like, the item box highlighter over to where the, like, player inventory is. That was weird. Might be another copy-paste thing. Yeah, okay, so that didn't fix that. That's fine, though. I was expecting it to not update. And then the sync also is not happening. So, the sync on that UI alone, I think that's more related to... Okay, so I should theoretically be able to keep spamming this. I need, like, a, a dirty bit, just like I have in the player inventory. We need to re-implement that in the item box, so that might be the next thing I do. I kind of want to hunt down this wacky issue with, like, the, the offset of the selector. For some reason, only the first slot is getting offset. I don't know what that's about. Well, we've already fixed one issue, but yeah, I can just keep putting this in the, in the box over and over again. We already know... I sort of have a solution for that. We just need to sync data between the actual player inventory so that when we put an item in the item box, the player inventory gets updated so that it's like, hey, you don't have this anymore, you put it away. And vice versa when we're taking stuff out of it, because I can I can take this out of the box, right? And that will... Oh my god, it fucks up whatever slot you select. That's, that's good info. And it didn't take that item... Or, well, it didn't save that it took that item out. But it'll be out of the box. So yeah, the problem works both ways. But if I have a sync function that will, uh, like when we take something out of the box, put it back in, we just update it, and then we also need to update the player inventory UI, like this section over here. So we'll need to sync this whenever the player's inventory changes in the room, unrelated to the item box. Cool, I'm feeling good about this. I think I have a grasp on most of the issues. The UI one is the wacky one that we're going to need to track down, but it's consistent, unlike the other UI issue with the menu on the other menu. So I can at least recreate it and we can put some log statements in there and that should be fine. Um, moving on. What are we doing first? Um, I think... I think the first thing I want to do is make the the UI update on the item box screen itself. So let's get that dirty bit implemented. And that is going to be the item box, not player inventory. Itembox.cs. No. 
Wait, no. Uh, shit. Oh, player item box control. That's what I'm looking for. Wait, why am I getting this node? Oh yeah, oh, because we, we call open menu on that node. <laughs> right. It's one line from Metal Gear Solid 2 that will forever be lodged into my brain. Is that one cutscene when the colonel is explaining to Raiden that he needs to go access some nodes? Maybe when he's talking to the president, I forget who. But he's Raiden's talking to someone and they're like, you need to go to this node and activate it. He's like, what's a nerd? <laughs> Not nerd node. Hmm. Okay, confirm is pressed. You know what, maybe I don't even need a dirty bit, I just probably need to, like, refresh the UI here. Oh yeah, and then that's a to-do for later. Um, we, we can actually probably handle that, although I don't have ammunition as an item, so I can't really test that with anything right now. Aw, oh, snippity snap. Did I drop frames? No. Why did my stream just load on my end? That was weird. I'm gonna turn this up slightly. It's a little quiet. Also, this is maybe one of my favorite Resident Evil songs. Even if it's used incredibly inappropriately. <laughs> it's... In, in most cases where it comes up and in, in the game it's from. I think they play this music when Steve is trying to kiss the sleeping... Kiss Clara when she's sleeping. <laughs> Which, uh... Yikes. Shoot, how do I refresh the UI? What do I... Okay, I need to look at my inventory control, because that is... Eh. <clears throat> item dirty. What do I do with item dirty? Update item UI. Okay. Oh wait, we already have this, don't we? Update item... Cursor? No. Maybe I don't have this. So I guess we just steal this, basically, honestly. I think that's fine. The cool thing is, because we use inheritance, we can actually just... basically let this flow the exact same way, regardless of whether we're updating the UI of the, um... of the item box slot, or the player inventory slot. Oh yeah, they already have an update UI. Okay, so we just call that. Um, wait, do I even need to do this then? If I'm just calling this... Yeah, because this is stuff that's related to the... Alright, I, I think that method is necessary in the actual player's inventory, because there's more going on in the, the visuals there, but here Oh, you know what? Maybe I should do this. This might be the issue.
we don't want to just wholesale slot swap these we want to swap the item inside them although actually wait because there's also quantity ah shit <laughs> And then isn't there like item type as well? Hmm. I'm a little lost here. This actually might be why the cursor is getting thrown off as well, because we're referencing like we'll we'll we would now be referencing something in the actual item box instead of something in the player inventory. And that's probably using local coordinates, so, like, that's why it's, like, off in, like, a funky way, instead of just, like, up where the other thing is. Or it could be re related to, like, the way layouts work in, in this, uh, this thing. Um... How does this work? If item's null... Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna need to call update UI on top of doing this stuff. We're gonna need to pull both of these ahead of time because we're swapping them. Uh. And then I don't need to worry about the sprite. The sprite should update itself based off the items info, I think. Like this has a sprite on it. Yeah, it has a menu icon. So it should grab that when I call update UI, I'm pretty sure. Damn it, it had it there and I didn't use it. Okay. And then here... Do this for item and quantity. And then we just call update on both of these. And then I'll double check my work here. Yeah, it's going to use item.menu icon. That's perfect. Um, yeah, and then this, since we're modulating it to clear, the image will still be there, but it'll be invisible, so that should be fine. Um, I will leave this note back up here. And that may even solve our cursor issue. If it does... Yippee! Saving and loading, I think, was working just fine, so I don't need to worry about that. The only other thing we have to fix is the... Um... Sync. The sync back to the other inventory. Nice! The cursor didn't go off either? Heck yeah! Yippee! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Oh, and then I also want to make this so um, the scroll bar will just auto-focus on whatever, like it'll scroll down with this. And honestly, I'd rather get I'd rather get rid of the scroll bar I can manually do here. But if it if it has to stay there, that's fine. I'm sure there's a way to get rid of it. I might need to like set up style guides and stuff, or like or whatever the hell you use for like. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Cancel seems to be working. I know there's the other yippee meme, but when I ever, whenever I say that, I'm thinking of that one, like the German child that's playing Fortnite and has a, a, a 
can of pop, not a can of pop, a bottle of pop next to his thing. Also, for the longest time, I misunderstood part of that because I saw like a version with subtitles on it recently-ish, and I always thought he was speaking English in the last like line he says, where where he says like it's fucking Fortnite and cola, yippee! But no, he's saying it's time for Fortnite and cola. <laughs> He's still speaking German. Um. Um. Sweet. Okay, that's great. Um. So all I need to do now, as far as bugs are concerned, I need to sync back to the player inventory both ways. Um. Do I have a reference to the player inventory in here? I do not. That's okay. Um. <laughs> I think what I want to do... Something like this. Get me the player inventory, and then we'll just have, like, a sync inventory, and we'll have one on this end as well, which we'll call in the other direction. Um, I could probably get this player inventory sooner. Yeah, let's do that sooner. Just feels better this way. And then we give it the items, and then likewise, our sync inventory is going to be something similar. Let's implement it down here. And then, yeah, that'll solve both problems. I think I, I'll, think I'll be able to copy-paste this. Hopefully. Anyone else, like, putting their public variables either... First or after private vari variables, uh, methods, what I meant to say. <laughs> this is an item slot array, yeah. Yep, sure is. Okay. Nice. Um, here, unlike the other space, I think it's okay to just, like, wholesale copy over them and then just call the resync. Yeah, that's good. Excuse me. So this will be player items at I. <laughs> um. Let's just put a failsafe in here. <laughs> just in case, this will literally never happen, but just in case somehow they give me like an array that's longer than the actual number of player item slots in this spot, <laughs> this will prevent that from having the code blow up. It'll just ignore everything past what we are able to um, process. So yeah, then we'll update the UI. Um, no, I can't do this. I can't. Damn it. Oh, yeah, this is RE4 Mercenaries <laughs> title screen. <laughs> it's like, it's a jam. Oh, no, it's the Assignment Ada title screen. Whatever, I got the right game. Frickin' Assignment Ada. Yeah, well, at the pace we're moving, I'm going to have a lot of time for modeling tonight. I'm very happy about that. Because I, I 
I thought I might get stuck in like an endless loop of just like, oh, there's this random thing going on and I can't debug it. <laughs> um, you know what? Instead of copy pasting this logic everywhere, I'm just going to make a copy function. Especially because I might need to modify this later. Um, we can even call update UI from this thing. So I'm going to copy all this, even though I won't need this and it's not even going to be the right code. Uh, <laughs> this kind of sucks, actually. Oh, yeah, you know what? No, hold on. There we go. We'll call it swap, and we will actually handle both of these in here. Because if I did it the other way, I wouldn't be able to preserve the data of the original, and I wouldn't be able to like copy both of them onto each other the way I want to. So this still gets the point across, but won't screw up everything. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't really matter which order I do this in. This needs to be... Wait, no, no, I need to do other first. Then we do ours. And I probably want to rename those. That's okay. We'll call it other item and other quantity. Bada bing, bada boom, chat. It's as simple as that. Now we just need to call it. Um, player. Blah, 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 So instead of all this shit, we'll just do. Item box items at current item box slot dot swap item box slots with player items. And we don't need to call anything else in here. And actually, this should be over here. Boom. Um, and then we can reuse that down here as well. Uh, wherever the hell I put this method. Where did I put sync inventory? Hold on. Oh, we actually don't want to swap here, though. We just want to copy. Yeah, that w we don't want to swap. Damn it. <laughs> Um, well, I guess we'll just have two similar methods that just... No, we don't want to merge ammo because this is strictly about copying. No, no fanciness needed here. <laughs> Um, well, we don't need to preserve anything because I'm not doing that. Don't need to update the UI and the other, just ourself. It's a lot simpler. <laughs> okay. I probably shouldn't have closed that class. We might need it very shortly, but that's okay. Oh, um... So, well, I guess I'll need to worry about that when I'm making the logic for merging ammo. But we want to think about which way the ammo should flow. So we want to flow into the player item list. 
Um, I, I think that feels better if I take the other as the item box item, then. It, it not, I can do it either way, it's just... This will be more easy to parse for myself. Uh, did I put this... Put this over here, okay. So here we just call copy. And that'll copy. There, now we have that item class open again. Item slot class open again. So it's going to take the item and the quantity from the other, put it in here. Boom. <clears throat> then it'll update the UI as well, so... That's good. We just need to call that now. Um, and then we also need to create that inside of our player inventory class. Sweet. All right. We have some harmony going on back and forth. Good. <laughs> um, so this won't handle the thing where when you walk in the room and pick the item up, you don't see it in your inventory yet. But this should handle the case where after I place an item from my inventory in the box, I don't see that reflected in my inventory. All right. So we picked up an item. We got it right here. We're going to put it in the box. Put it in slot three, and now it shouldn't be in my inventory, and it's not. Good. When I leave the room, it still shouldn't be in my inventory. It's not. Awesome. It should still be in the box, and I should be able to take it out. Put it in a different slot. Awesome. It's there. Awesome. Like that. If I go back in the box, it's still in the right spot. Good. Oh, I also need to account for, like, when you use an item in a room... Yeah, we're going to need to, like, handle uh, some catch-all or something like that. It's looking good! Okay, cool. So this this should work. Just so give me two seconds, chat. I will be right back. Ooh. like that. Okay, so this is pretty simple. In player inventory, we now just need to call this sync. Oh, well, we need to also get the player item box control. Um, I don't know if I have a route or not for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Item box control. I do have one. Nice. Player inventory. Do you already have this? No. the item box control in the inventory so basically now well you know we have this weird thing with the dirty flag this actually might help because like when you yeah anytime i'm doing this i could probably sync that wouldn't be a bad idea
Oh, I guess also, um... Hmm. How are we doing this? So, the one thing I'm worried about is if you take your equipped weapon and put it in the box, we need to make sure that unequips in your inventory. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to cause problems. Um, probably just hitting equip dirty true is maybe good. not going to fix it. <laughs> All right, I'll need I need something fancy to handle that. But in update item UI, we can probably just sync it. I mean, it's only 6 slots. It's not going to take like that much extra processing power to do this every time something UI wise gets updated. Okay, well, let's check this out, though. Confirm button was pressed. So, if you're equipping a weapon, right? Do action. Uh... Right, so that's for combining two items. But do action. If it's use... Do we have a weapon? I don't know if I have a weapon. I have the weapon class. Okay. So we just call that, basically. Um... Shoot. So we'll call update equip UI regardless here. I think that's a good idea. Um, or maybe I should like check. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think... Ooh. So, this works just off player status, so maybe we could just update player status. That's actually not the worst idea. Or, like, not even that, but, like, check equipped weapon when we're swapping something. And if equipped weapon is the same instance ID as whatever slot we're just messing with. Um, yeah, let's try that, hold on. So, if, if the item's not null, and the item dot get instance ID equals player status dot equipped weapon, Get instance ID. Those are both, um, yeah, item and weapon. Weapon's a type of item. Good. Oh, also, I guess I need to make sure that this is not null. 
So quick weapon is not null. And the thing you just swapped is the currently equipped weapon. Um, we're going to want to player status that equipped weapon equals null. And then we'll set equip dirty to true. So player status equip weapon this. I could actually just do this. <laughs> just wait. Oh, oh, animation layer weight. Yeah, that's not even going to be the same <laughs> when we implement it on this thing. <laughs> We should probably add weapons soonish. Um, I'm I don't want to make any more animations for the model I have right now. I want to make my own model. I want something stylistically in the realm of what I want to make, and not just stock character thing. Incredibly useful tool, and it let me figure out the fundamentals of animation, like uh, in Godot and in Blender, but. We gotta do our own shit, chat. Which again, assuming what I'm doing right now works, like what? We'll plenty of time to do some modeling tonight. I don't know if I'll do the human player. I have an idea for an enemy that I want to model that probably wouldn't be that intensive, like time intensive. I could probably finish it tonight. If I start on the player, I'm probably gonna get caught up doing nonsense, but whatever. <laughs> it all needs to be done, so it's like, Whatever, really. Um, okay, yeah. Not player status, equip weapon. Um, equip weapon. Yes, actually that was correct. <laughs> and then player inventory dot weapon dirty. Equip dirty is true. So that'll fix itself. And then, because this is horribly unreadable, I will do a coding sin and leave a comment. If we just swapped the currently equipped weapon, weapon to the item box, uh, unequip it. I can totally type right now. I cannot test that functionality because we don't actually have any weapons implemented, but uh, when we do, you know. Hey, it synced. Okay, cool. And just to double check here, I'm going to take this item here. It's in our inventory. Leave the room. It's still in our inventory. Come back. It's still there. It's still there. Put it away. It's still there. Not there. Good. Not there. Coming back. Still there. Wahoo! Um, I could test the, the saving functionality of all this, but... Um, we did already test that last time and it was all working and I... I don't know. Maybe there's a chance that I somehow did that. Oh, you know what? The other thing... Uh, I don't... That only happened one time, and I don't know how to reproduce it, but we had that thing where the long bar from the item box showed up down here. I don't really know what the hell happened there. Yeah, I can't get it to happen again. It probably... No, wait, no. 100% was related to the same thing of where I was actually swapping the references to things, so it was moving the cursor to the wrong spot because it thought, oh, well, this thing's supposed to be here. All right, well, I'm going to commit all that code. Um, not done coding yet. We'll do a little bit more with that. Um, I don't... Well, I guess I'll commit that. I don't know why that's changed, but whatever. Um, fixed all the bug 
all the item box bugs. Definitely all of them. Smiley face. Push that code. It's in there. Why did I open this? I have open Discord. Um, all right, I'm going to time box myself here. 10 o'clock at the latest, so we got like 45 minutes. If I can't figure out how to get this scroll auto scroll to work by then, we'll give up for now. <laughs> um, okay. Godot for VBox container code scroll. Create scroll. How can I make a scroll bar work? Scroll container and follow focus. Oh, this person's on the exact version I'm on. Hold on. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, wait. I had to follow this tutorial. Yes. Okay, hold on. Hold up, chat. We might have something here. Um, I want to get to no, this person's explaining how the scroll works. That's cool, but oh, wait, no, no, hold on, they're doing something. <laughs> JM Biv. How long? I think we're nearing. No, we're about half halfway here. I was getting ready for the next soundtrack. I don't know why. But right now, my recommended is full of a lot of Fleetwood Mac songs. As, mu as much as I would love to listen to them, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get DMCA'd. <laughs> I haven't even been listening to Fleetwood Mac all that recently. It's weird. Uh, so this is like handling events when it scrolls. I think this is like backwards. This person's explaining how you like react to when someone's scrolling in your scroll bar or your v-box dang it um i'm gonna let him cook does he have any other stuff in here i already kind of screwed around with the documentation last time um oh you know what hold on before i forget about this i mean i already did forget about this um, this should be commented out, <laughs> and it's just, it's just not. <laughs> um. There we go. I don't know what made that pop into my head, but I just remembered I needed to do that. Um, that's the wrong window entirely. Wahoo. Uh, okay, so we have the item box scroll. Right, so we're calling update item box cursor. That's here. This calculation is just wrong. That's the only problem. Like, I think we just need to like figure out the math of this. Okay, hold on. This code is not right. <laughs> Get v scroll bar. Oh.
Oh, wait, maybe this is the issue. Focus next. Uh, no, that's, that's, um, sorry, menu focus stuff. This is all, yeah, no, that's not good. Um... So the scroll itself, scroll vertical, I can set that. And then we take git scroll max. That's not the value that it accepts. Why? Oh, because it's double. Dude, I don't understand the signatures on some of these variables. It's the same. It's coming. Like, these by all accounts should be the same thing, but this one's a double and this one's an int. Like, yeah, pick one. I, I, I don't even care which one. Alright, so this is just gonna, like, force the thing down as soon as we move the scroll bar. Or rather, every time we move. Okay. Um, that is right, by the way. Wait. Yeah, that that's the bottom of the scroll. I don't know if it makes more sense to have this, like, padded bottom to this, or if I should, um... Just let it infinite scroll, like, the way it kind of does in Resident Evil. Whatever. <laughs> or a looping scroll is what I meant to say. Ooh. We gotta figure this out first. So, max value is fair, that's right. Um... I feel like I shouldn't have to call this every single time. What other values are in here? So this is going to give me a V scroll bar, as opposed to the scroll container. Um, range will always be rounded to the multiple. So, what if I take step times uh, current item box slot? What if we set it to this? That's also probably not an integer. Yep. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. I don't- this might be zero, though. <laughs> this might just do nothing. I keep clicking on the wrong thing, damn it. <laughs> might be onto something here, chat. But he was not onto something here, chat. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> um... Is there even a step? Like, <laughs> can I see what that is? I, this custom step, which is presumably something I can manually set. Um, okay, what is this even part of? Is this even part of the scroll bar class? Maybe that's not. Get yeah, cool, dude. Hey, what's up, Aaron TV? How you doing? If greater than zero, Godot.range.value will always be rounded to the multiples properties value. Um, what is it for, though? What is this used for? It's part of a range. Is Dev going? Dev and myself? Nice. Hope you're having a good time doing some dev work. Uh, it's going very well, actually. I had a lot of bugs with this system, and now we're... Honestly, the last thing we're down to isn't even really a bug. It's a... It's something I just want to add for, like, niceness, as far as features go. So, basically what I'm trying to do is I have I have this uh, this UI here where you're, you can store items in this item box. And it works totally fine now. I fixed all the bugs with it except for that one. Whoa. 
weird. Um, <laughs> what I'd like to do is get rid of this scroll bar. Oh, I know why that's happening. It's because <laughs> this this scroll is like frozen at zero zero. <laughs> oh heck yeah, good stuff. Anyway, I want this scroll bar to kind of follow the cursor as I go down in this list of items. Um, and I think we're getting there. We're almost there. I have. I just had to figure out like the formula for like how we're doing this, basically. Yeah, go for it. Um, this will not work, but I'm gonna do this. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. I I will. It doesn't know what the step. I, I need to set custom step. I think that would do it. Oh, nice. You got that, like, top-down 2.5D thing going on. It's cool. I've seen, I've seen a couple games like that. It's a pretty cool way to do stuff. Man, Imager does not like loading long <laughs> video files. Either that or my internet's just crap right now, which is equally possible. It's chugging. I, I, I get the gist of what's going on, but that's cool, though. Thanks for sharing. All right, so basically what I, I think all I need to do is I need to get like the height. I could probably like cheese this because I know that the height of these things is 140, 140 pixels. This might work. This might just work, but I don't know. <laughs> this seems so jank though. And if I ever want to change, like I'd rather just like adapt properly if I need to change something later. Um, okay, it, it is not 140. That's not the magic number. But this is kind of working. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not perfect, but... Alright, what is, what is actually the pixel height of these things? Um, you. How tall are you? Oh, 100 pixels, not 140. Well, that that would definitely do it. Um, this I don't know why I keep clicking on this other application. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> this unnamed application, totally not related to what I'm gonna do after I finish doing game dev stuff for the night. Just still a couple hours away, but. This might just work. It's not going to work perfectly, though. So yeah, then the focus will always be at top until you get to the bottom, I guess. That's okay, but it's not great. I can't, I'd rather have it centered. This is acceptable, though. I think I need, like, some special rule. So the bottom is... Our weirdly automatically handled because it's it's hit the bottom so like it has to like stick down here i need like the first couple slots to maybe um just like ignore ignore the scroll tier like four or five down that's janky and not correct <laughs> but <laughs> i don't know uh what i think i i think i might be calling this too much also uh, well, we only call it on item or handle item box movement. Oh, but we always call it. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's not good. That's why. That's why the UI is so shaky right there. So what I should do here is... Oh, well actually, hold on. Wrong variable. Let's go ahead and copy that to here. And then... If... 
this changed, then we want to update the UI. Otherwise, don't do it. And that should not. That should reduce a lot of spam. Um, yeah, this is just nonsense. Don't don't even worry about that code. Um, this may be something to the idea of using step or custom step, but I don't even know where those variables are, so that might just be wrong. Um, I'll take one more peek here, but that should be in the VBox container because that's what we're looking at. Um, I would think that's somewhere in there. I don't know. What uh, what engine are you using? Or if you're using an engine, <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, by the way. Hey, Imager finally loaded the video. I can see it in not like one frame per second. <laughs> Looking cool. You can also respect the like stylized color scheme too. Got that sort of Game Boy aesthetic. I say as it just changes color <laughs> since you can recolor things. Nice. Good stuff. RPG in a box. I don't know what that is, actually. <laughs> I'm Googling it. Hold on. Oh, it's an RPG engine. Okay. Nice. Man, I need to keep this, like, at arm's length. I <laughs> Obviously, I don't make games in it, but I have a copy of RPG Maker 1 for the PlayStation 1. <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to stream myself playing that game. <laughs> Mark my words, Chet. I have not played that since I was like a kid, <laughs> but I've, I've literally been obsessed with like any sort of creation tools since I, honestly, since I played Load Runner on the NES as a kid. I'm old, chat. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, this is pretty good. I need to put in some custom code. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think the first six slots. First six slots should not scroll. Yeah, it's a tongue twister. So I can really easily code that in, basically. Um, if current item box slot is less than or equal to five, since it's zero indexed, item scroll vertical equals zero. Else, do this. I didn't put a semicolon. There we go. Um, Leave a note here. I'm just gonna delete this. This code's not gonna help me. <laughs> I don't I don't know what dot step is. I don't know where it's getting that value, but it's, there has to be like some some way that works, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. We're moving on. So you always go back. Oh, no, it remembers what slot you were in. That's actually for the best. Wait, no, this didn't sync. Wait, no, how did I do that? That was that was bad. That was broken. I go down here, we're at the bottom, I go back up here. Oh wait, I lost the scroll though. Hmm, something something's something screwy here. I don't know what's up with that. Oh maybe I should scroll first. I think the positioning of the, the highlight is getting lost when we drastically wrap like that. Yeah, no, you can see it right there. It just, wait, also that's wrong, right? Maybe that's not wrong, I don't know. Wait, that was not, oh my goodness. Okay, some, something's really wrong now. I don't know why.
the inventory cursor. No, not the inventory cursor. We want the item box cursor. Um, I definitely think we should scroll before moving the item box cursor. I don't think that's what's going wrong, though, because actually was putting it in the wrong slot. Oh, well, no, yeah, if the cursor's in the wrong spot, then the wrong slot will be picked. Yeah, okay, that... Like, we were actually highlighting something different. Also, what the heck happened to my inventory that time? Yeah, it did it again. But if I leave and come back... No, if I check my inventory, then I go back here. Ooh. Okay, that's a bug. Well, this is also... Yeah, it's like off by one now. Ugh. But, I bet, if I were to uncomment this thing I did, and just have it keep updating the UI constantly, and spam updates, then it will probably be working fine. That sucks. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, that's not related to why this is busted, though, that's for sure. Yeah, I, like, need to open my inventory to make that show up. That's so bizarre. Yeah. So now it's in the correct spot, but it's, like, it's spamming updates, which is why you can see it, like, flickering like that. Which is not awesome, but it'll work, I guess. Oh, that is also jarring to, like, suddenly... Ooh, okay, I got I got a new idea. Instead of this, like, if six or whatever, we're gonna leave that uncommented for now, because clearly we need it. Um, instead of less than five, we should do... Target scroll position is going to be... Uh, math dot oh max current slot minus five and zero math f whatever I don't freaking know um and then So now it'll be consistent as we roll down. And it should always have like a couple buffer item slot box or item box slots. And then the bottom is still covered because it's the end of the scroll bar, so we don't need to worry about it. Also, I need to and I need to fix that. <laughs> nice, okay. Yeah, it goes back up cleanly, goes down smoothly. It's like it needs a second once over to uh, adjust itself, basically. <laughs> it's very weird. So I, maybe I can fix that with like. Like calling this a second time or something. Uh. I'm trying to think of like why this would be wrong. In terms of, like, where it puts the cursor. Because it is moving it. It's just to the wrong spot for some reason. Maybe... Okay, hear me out. I think... It ha Like, when I... Let me go in here and point at stuff. So, when I call the scroll, scroll vertical, like, setter here... This isn't probably scrolling it... In this operation. It probably needs a full frame to pass for it to update the UI. So then this is still setting it, even though I'm doing it afterwards, it's still setting it to an outdated position. And then the UI updates and then it's all messed up. So I think what we do instead... We just gotta call it twice. Is this RE5 Mercenaries, right? Yeah, well, it's called Dreamy Loop. I don't know what, but <laughs> whatever.
We have an update loop, right? Yeah, we do. Come on, let me use my not yet real <laughs> variables. <laughs> um, we should do this after handle cursor movement. It's good. Actually, hell, let's put it in there, I think. There we go, and everyone's happy, and hopefully now we don't need to spam updates to the UI. And also it won't uh, screw up on us, I don't know. So far, so good. Yeah, it just still has that jitter because it's putting it in the wrong position for, like, a frame. <laughs> it's a little frustrating, but at least it works. Alright. I'm done screwing with this. Also, it's, like, almost 10. I, I was so confident that we were, like, already there and we did it and everything, and this happened, but whatever. <laughs> um, one last thing I need to do. Oh yeah, that bug we just found. Um, crud. Uh, oh, also I should leave a note about how I'm hacking that, I guess. That's not what we're doing anymore. I guess, honestly, this code kind of explains that. Eh, whatever. Leave it. Um, commit the code. Oh, wait, no. The bug, yes, that's one thing I need to fix, but other than the bug, I need to also... How do I make that scroll bar hide? Um, theme. Theme overrides. Nope. Visibility. Visible. False. Um... Wait, what did I just do? Uh, this gotta be a way to do this. Add scroll bar. I'm seeing a lot of CSS answers, which that's fine. If I I thought it might be a theme thing, and it seems like it is. Oh wait, you can just call the dot hide. What the fuck? I think I might have. That might be super easy. Okay, I don't know what this form is doing, but it's taking like ten years to load, and that's highly concerning. I'm gonna go with the Reddit post that said just call dot hide or whatever. Um, let's take the scroll container in the ready function. Get the scroll bar dot hide. Wait, no, that's gonna hide everything. This person's explaining their problem. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> that's gonna hide the whole like everything under that. That's no, that's no good. <laughs> I'll prove it, too. Okay, it didn't hide anything, but it also didn't hide the scroll bar, which is... <laughs> oh. <laughs> because it's not yet visible, hide is irrelevant. No, 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 that should still work, actually. I, I don't know why that didn't work, but whatever. It's fine. Um... Scroll bar.
Yeah, very cool. Um, scroll bar. This. This this is what they're saying, but the, no, this is not right. <laughs> oh, also I need to set it to uh, color. Or this is like a color dot. God. From string, what the hell? I literally already do this somewhere else in my code. I should look at one of those examples. <laughs> this this is not the right element though. This is this is the whole kit and caboodle, right? Like everything under this is gonna be invisible if this works. Never mind, it just fucking works. I'm I'm an idiot. Alright, cool. <laughs> Sweet. We got ourselves a scroll bar. Um I mean I guess we already did, but it's even better now. Um, let me go look at some other, yeah, gameconstants.colors.clear, right, I can do that instead of this. Just save us time overall. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. why are you, why are you, what? That weird, Godot was like flashing like it had some important message to tell me. Cool beans, still working over here, so we just have one more bug to fix. Um, I'm sorry, Claire. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here. <laughs> sorry, I've played way too much Resident Evil 2 in my life. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna try to not do too much direct parody of RE2 in this game. I know there's like no content in this game yet, I'm just getting like the bones together, but like it's all gonna come together, chat, just trust me. <laughs> um, cool, our scroll bar is working, our item box is like fully functional, minus that one thing wherein if you don't open your inventory, any changes to your inventory since you entered the room do not apply for some reason. Um, Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it. Um, I think I might know why that's happening. We're going to dig into that, though, bef before I do any modeling tonight, which we're, we're going to get to some. It's, it's only 10 o'clock. There's plenty of time. Um, yeah. All right, well, anyway. Um, that would be in the player inventory. So my theory is, yeah, okay, so we don't, we don't do any of this stuff until the menu's opened. So this, this equip, all this dirty flag stuff, where we actually sync stuff, does not happen, uh, until here. And that's a problem. Um, oh, I need like another Boolean. That tracks whether we synced the item box. And... Mm, I need to think about this a little bit, chat. I will, um... I'm gonna take a break, actually, really quick. While I think this over. I was about to, anyway. Um... I will be back... in a minute or so. And hopefully we'll be able to figure out what the heck is going on with this, uh, bug. Uh, well... 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, I didn't commit that. Hold on. Um, make item box. Roll to currently selected item. Remove scroll bar. Alright, I'll be right back. Also, where's the soundtrack at? We're getting close to the end of this playlist. In fact, they'll probably be about done by the time I get back. So, we'll find something new to listen to. BRB. There's a tangle of wires underneath my desk. Mainly just this fucking thing that wiggle waggles all over the place. <laughs> Mercenaries results are very nice. Um, blah, 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 blah. Super Mario lo fi hip hop, nice. I guess we could listen to Resident Evil and chill, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna, like, be a lot of the same music. There's the Silent Hill ambient and relaxing soundtrack, uh, which has things that always get my video flagged on it. Nintendo Music to put you in a good mood also has things that flag my video. Man, <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Screw it, Pizza Tower. Look, he's jamming. Pete Pizza. Oh, this is like super loud. Sorry, Chad. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, so we have this sync with item box flag. 
Um, dude, I am so cold right now. I need to put this hoodie on. <laughs> Literally shaking. One of the arms is inside out. One second. Get in there. Okay. So we don't need to open the menu in process if before all of that, right? We'll do if, uh, sync with the item box. It's not sync with the item box. Sync with the item box. Simple as that. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. It's actually just called items. What the hell? Why did that not work? Oh, great. Uh, actually, this should be two things. That, and then synced. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Incidentally, um, I think whenever we sync back, I, I don't think this matters, but whatever. Um,. This almost takes care of the thing where we're like loading the data into, like loading the player's inventory data into the item box, because this would automatically do it as soon as it starts up, basically. Um, cause, cause, because I set this as like, are we synced? And it's going to start on false. It's like a happy little accident, I guess. Um... This sucks so hard, but I'm, I'm just gonna need to hunt down every single item dirty and just set it to like also set this wherever we're doing that. That's the way it's gotta be though. Because item dirty, the alternative is sync the item UI. But we're potentially going to have, like, nulls. I, I, I don't want to risk that. Oh, well. That can be outside of the loop, actually. <laughs> Alright. It's not so bad. Wait, go previous, hold on. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know how to do that. Wait, there we go. Okay, we did set it there. There are worse things I could do code-wise. <laughs> it's not pretty, but that should fix the issue. Let's prove it. Um, well, we'll reproduce the issue we already saw. Alright, pick up item. We have an item. I'm not looking at my inventory yet. Go in here. The item should now be in this UI. It is! Ha ha! Huzzah! I haven't tested this yet, actually. Go in here, inspect the UI. Go back over here. Pick item up. Now go back. Okay, I, I had no reason to believe that wouldn't work, but I just haven't tested that yet, so, you know, <laughs> better safe than sorry, as they say.
Hey, it's a working. Cool. All right. Item box fully functional. And hey, look at that. It's like 10 o'clock on the dot. Let's open up Blender and uh, make a fool of myself because that's what I like to do. And not because I just don't have anyone to model stuff for me. <laughs> um, let me close all these tabs. I don't need all this shit anymore. That, a lot of that didn't actually help me, weirdly enough. <laughs> uh, commit the code before I piece out of this program. Uh, fixed bug where item box UI wouldn't update if you haven't opened inventory after getting. Boom. Committed, pushed. It's all out there, baby. All right. Blender. Blender. Your friend, Blender. Three, three, oh, baby. Get rid of the light. Get rid of the camera. Get rid of all of it. Got my cube. Um. That's the wrong button. I'm already... Camera's back by accident because I don't know how to press redo. Um, how do I go back? There we go. Uh. <laughs> uh. How do I go to edit mode? Um, chat, if anyone, in, if anyone knows how to make... Um, the UI even remotely viewable to everyone else. Or sorry, let me rephrase that. If anyone in chat knows how to like make the font go bigger in Blender, I will gladly do it. I know you guys can't read any of this shit. <laughs> um, just shout at me and say do this or whatever. Otherwise, I'm not going to do anything to fix it. Um, also, if anyone happens to know how to turn on edit mode and why I can't select it from this drop down or the normal shortcut I press, it's actually probably a really system specific question. So that one's probably not really answerable. <laughs> but you know. Interesting. Dude, what is happening? Why can't why can't I go in edit mode? I'm gonna Google this. <laughs> Pressing tab will toggle edit mode. Here's why sources say this is false. What the fuck? What is happening? Alright. File new. Give me a brand new. They okay, I I hate everything right now. I don't know why that was just like, no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. That's scale, not subdivide. What the hell? I'm gonna be Googling a lot right now, chat. <laughs> Uh, you know, this is even a spoiler. It's it's in my stream warnings. It's in my tags. I I'm drinking chat and uh, <laughs> I don't know how to use blender in general It's been like a month and a half since I've used it last How do I subdivide? Fuck what is that? no that, that's not actually all really good info, but nothing that I need right now How do I just do a subdivide? <laughs> <laughs> Subdivide meshes the right way. Alright, here. Random sketchy ass website that's probably gonna play some ad at me. This button? What? Oh yeah, you wanna select which face you're subdividing, that's true. Um extrude is E, right? It is, okay. I got I got that down. Uh then tab, okay. Nope, that's not right. Going back, I'm undoing all of it. Right click? No. What's the shortcut, man? Well, I guess I can do that. Alright, you know what? That works, whatever, fuck it. Um. 
if I do this, right? Okay. Um. I don't want to touch the faces. I want the vertexes. Yeah. The vertices, if you will. I guess either or. Actually, faces would probably be faster for what I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> Just wait till I have to rig this thing, chat. You guys are in for a treat. <laughs> Okay, cool. Now... Now I do want faces, actually. Whoa. 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 Okay, that's close. We're getting there. I may have made too many subdivisions, actually. <laughs> Just a thought here. How do I unsubdivide? That's gotta be a thing, right? Merge. What? Oh, dang it. Wrong part. If I delete a vertex, what does that do? Not what I want it to. Uh. Blender. Unsubdivide. <laughs> Edge unsubdivide? That's just an option? What the fuck? How? Where? Merge vertices. There we go. No. <laughs> Wrong. Um. Oh, wait. You know what? Hold on. If I merge these ones, that might work. That's not what this thing is telling me, but... Yes. Yes, but I don't want to merge it that many times, actually. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm on it. We're back on, chat. I need to put, like, a, a disclaimer somewhere on the screen when I'm doing modeling that I don't know anything about what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> If you guys think my game code is bad, my uh, modeling skills are far, far worse. <laughs> oh wait, that's actually what I wanted. That. Yes. Dissolve the vertices. That's good. Although, actually, uh, in retrospect, I probably do want some vertices there. This is supposed to be the enemy's face. <laughs> it's not looking so good. Well, this part of it should be pretty flat, so that's not so bad, but... I don't know, man. I need to shrink all of this also, which... Uh, it's probably better done earlier rather than sooner, or later. Let's, um... Yeah, that's what I'm that is exactly what I'm looking for, okay. Uh, the problem is, how do I translate? What's the, what's the shortcut for move? G. Thank you. Oh wait, uh, fuck. Lock to axes, X. There we go. Thank you. The neck is still way too big. I need to shrink that, but that's fine. We can do that later, that's fine. Um, also, I can probably merge the next vertices a little bit.
Can anyone guess what I'm making? It's here's a fun game. <laughs> I guess I did give part of it away a second ago, but... Camera? <laughs> you know what? This actually does look quite a bit like a camera. <laughs> Mad props to anyone that's a professional, like, 3D modeler out there. I, I literally cannot do what you do. <laughs> I, li I like the guessing game here. Move that back in, lock it to axis X. Oh wait, no, I want to shrink this. Yeah. Yeah. Then move it back. That's good. We're gonna we're gonna round this part out anyway. Candy. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you I'm making an enemy for my game? Because <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. I want to shrink this a little bit more. Some girl's hair. Actually, yeah. You know what? I see. All, I see all the things you're saying right now. trust you nice that's your first mistake <laughs> all right there we go that's about the right size now <laughs> that neck's still a little big would you also believe me if I told you that I have barely any idea of what I'm doing or does that even need to be said <laughs> would you just maybe take that at face value from the way I'm using blender right now <laughs> oh wait I'm gonna hit scale not not translation. Whoa, way too small. There we go. That's in the right position. All right, we're good. To, let's let's get the let's get their face built out now. This is not the way to do this. Trust you. Nice. Also fair. It'll make sense eventually, probably. Maybe not. I don't know. God, I'm gonna have to rig this at some point, and I hate that. I hate that I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> um. All right, so extrude this a little bit. That's good. Also entirely fair, honestly. Uh, okay, now we want to extrude again, but I'm going to subdivide and shrink this down and round it out. I should maybe be using... You know what? I've been eyeballing this. You know what? Whatever. That's the artistic style of this game. <laughs> now subdivide this son of a gun. Wait, what did it just do? Oh, I didn't select any surfaces, so it's like, what am I subdividing? <laughs> This has been flattened out, and now I don't know how to unflatten. Oh wait, yeah, no, I, never mind. I'm good. I, all I need to do is just bring this in. Well, I can use the face. Uh, no, not extrude. Scale. Whoa. Then also move it out a bit. Also, that needs to be scaled more than it is. Uh, I should take this whole thing, not just the front face. That's that's why this looks so weird. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? That's why I extruded twice. Uh, still not quite right. Well, I can cut this face off anyway, and then just have, like, the remainder. Yeah, this is not good. Um, so unselect this. Delete. Whoa, shit. Delete the edges, not the vertices. Nope, that also mixes things up. It 
shouldn't be hard to fix. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Um... I kind of want to undo... Hold on, I can just... I can mess with the vertices. I think I can get this. Just think about what parts of the mesh you need to deform in the first place. Yeah, I may have screwed that part up. Um... Let me go back a bit here. Yeah, from here... Actually, no, go back one. If I just take the front face before I extrude it twice here, this might be better. Yeah, yeah. This definitely doesn't need to be perfect. I don't think I have undos far enough back. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Well, if we delete all of this, we'll be left with the faceless thing over here, I think, right? Shoot. What am I trying to undo? I'm trying to get back to here, but I want this face. Like, uh, I, I made an extrude here, and I want to undo that. Like, uh, basically I want to get back to where, like, I just have, instead of two segments here vertically, like, here and here, I just want, like, one of them. Go to side view, okay. Or wait, this side view, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Shift one. Okie doke. Oh yeah, I can merge the vertices, right? And that'll do it. Vertices disable three. I think I understand. <laughs> One second. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, that's good. Only select the outside vertices. Okay, so not, not these secondary ones I'm doing. Just the other side inward. Uh, wireframe? Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, cool. So, undo these, basically. Cool beans, thanks. Oh yeah, I can hit all of them when I'm inside view and wireframe. I think. Well, I need to get these guys underneath, though. Didn't mean to select that. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, dra- Ah, oh, yeah, good point. There we go. Like that. <laughs> and then... That's why wireframe's useful. True. Can't I still drag select even in, um, like, any view? Or is that not right? It doesn't really matter, actually. You know, <laughs> don't worry about that. Wait. That's actually what I wanted, even though it's not <laughs> seemingly what I was trying to do. <laughs> oh, I won't get the sides if I'm doing it that way. Gotcha. Okay. This actually is where I was headed, um, <laughs> so that weirdly works. <laughs> I, I think that was not what you were instructing me to use, however, that reaches my goal. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> cool, alright. On to the other stuff. I, I appreciate it nonetheless, like, I, I am... 
obviously very novice when it comes to modeling software. Or wait, vertex mode. Either or. Actually, I can probably just do this. I literally, you literally just taught me this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Time to subdivide some more. Cause additional problems for myself. That's not going to be right. Um, wait, yes, I can work. I can work with this. Oh, actually, I might need. Um, well, hold on. Go back a couple steps here. Before the subdivide. Uh, wrap. Actually, can I? This is kind of stupid, but I'm going to merge these really quick. <laughs> um. Or I'm not, because it won't let me. Oh wait, I'm not... No, I'm selecting every... Yeah, that's all of this stuff. Mm. I'll just leave it as is. It's fine, I can make this work either way. Actually, you know what, it's better to do it this way anyway. Um, sorry, I need to. I need to grow the body out a little bit more. Um, so to do that, I am not in the right mode, there we go. Also, I'm not holding shift, Lamau. Uh, <laughs> wait, okay, how, how big is this? Let me see here. Uh, 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 where do I see the numbers for this? I want to create a, another segment of this that's equal in size, and I don't know where that is. Uh, shoot. Uh, in the front? Wait, um... I'm super lost. <laughs> also, by all means, don't, don't, <laughs> don't let me, like, force you into helping me with every single, like, random <laughs> thing I'm, like, trying to figure out. <laughs> I do appreciate the help, though. The head and big nose. Uh, uh, looking all over. Not this. Uh, this is the right menu, right? Not over here, or over there, or anything like that. Oh, what's my model? Yeah, yeah, th this is correct. Yeah, this this whole thing is going to be the head. I'm making. Oh, sorry. If you don't know what I'm making, I'm making a survival horror game. <laughs> so this is gonna be a monster. Um, no, no, you're you're uh, you're totally fine. Things I super misinterpret chat all the time. Uh, <laughs> so this is his body. I need to I need to trim it down a little bit. But yeah, this is gonna be his head. Like this whole thing will be his head. He'll have, like, some eyeballs up here. He's supposed to look deformed and monstrous. Um, I have no textures for any of this yet, but we'll get there. And I'm trying to build his body out more. One, so I can sculpt it down into a more roundish shape, but also, on top of that, so I can build arms and legs out of it. It's going to be sort of a spider-like enemy, but... <laughs> in a very uh, janky sort of way. My idea is basically like take a spider, but then also just make him like a human <laughs> that's <laughs> in spider form where he has his legs sticking out like this or whatever. Which is why I need to subdivide more, but I also want to extrude a bit to, like, build his body out so he can be hunched on all fours.
the cube. What's up, Anchor Light? How you doing? <laughs> As you can see, I'm horribly fumbling my way through modeling some shit. Try the proportional edit. Just busy. Understandable. Taking a peek before bed. Nice. Proportional edit. Sorry, I have no idea where that is. <laughs> I could probably eyeball it. That's a really dumb thing to Oh wait, actually no, this is this is actually super lined up to this. Boom. Nailed it. O and then G. Oh. Shit. I did not know that. <laughs> Coming over the hotkey by fumbling until I hit the right one. <laughs> that is super good to know. Chad, it's time to get funky. Slip the middle of Versi and then and sorry, and then what? I need wireframe mode again. There we go. That is so weird that that acts differently. Alright. This should be all I need, as far as vertexes go, on the body. Oh, okay. Huh. Cool. But what about this, though? Anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> at the alcohol is getting to me my my promise to myself tonight was gonna be I was gonna make as much progress as I could game wise and then when I started feeling it mr. Krabs we would just start playing I, I have a special game plan for tonight a very special game oh, this is what I was looking for there we go that seems about right nice turtle it's a spider! Carly, you know what this is. I mean, you probably don't know what this is, but... <laughs> it's that draw- it's that shitty drawing I put in Discord, <laughs> like, a while ago. And then your reaction was, I want to voice him. <laughs> that guy? This is me? <laughs> oh wait, shit, hold on. Go back, go back, go back. Love him. This is also- ah, oh shit. Can I go back enough to undo that? Okay, cool. I just- I need to move, um... Oh yeah, I can do it separately. Two moves, okay. Only on x-axis. Only on z-axis. Mm, too much. Undo. Oh, uh, this is the part where- this is the part of the soundtrack where it's like... Starts playing all of the, like, failed or succeeded sounds. No, it's not. Can he have nipples? Oh, he's gonna have some nipples, don't worry. Recommend you professional edit a symmetrical feature from a mirror. I don't... know what that is. <laughs> um, why is this not smooth? Oh, it's because I'm not moving. Okay, I need to... X-axis, I need to move this in, like, a lot less. I, I can just type it in. I'll just type it in. Point one five. Move. Z-axis. Point one five. No, negative point one five. Fuck. Oh, it- Dude, that's so smart. It knows exactly what I want to do. <laughs> do you go head-on view? Okay, but we need more than point one five. Probably point three. Shit. 
I didn't get the point in there. Point three. Z, point three. I keep forgetting it's negative. It's not smooth, though. Head on view. <laughs> oh yeah, I could do both. Oh! Delete half of it, then mirror it. I didn't know you could do that with the actual mesh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> so many tools, man. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you got a good point. What if I double? Double the vertical. I think that might be what I'm missing. So 0.3 and then negative 0.6. I did the wrong axis. Damn it. G Z negative 0.6. It's almost correct. Oh. No, here's here's where it does every single thing. Fuck this part of this, the OST. It's really just like very unfortunate layout. I mean, I guess it makes sense to put that all together, but. Um. I might need to move this. Oh man. Yeah, I guess it, I shouldn't just be moving the back section, right? Like, we need to kind of move the whole thing together, which, when I do this, it's moving everything together, but that's- what the fuck? <laughs> I don't even- I don't even know what I just did there. I'm looking to get, like, a curve into this, and when I edit by numbers, that- that kind of works. But, like, I need to also move these on top of that to get a gentle curve with all of it. Mmm! Shit. Ah! You said that a while ago and I didn't understand what it meant. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Yep. Nope, that's, uh, that's actually perfect. <laughs> you know, to some degree, this is probably wrong. This is probably a wrong idea to have, but, um, <laughs> the lack of symmetry is almost, like, on par for this survival horror game I'm making. <laughs> Also, if I can just take two seconds to point out, like, what I'm making is a goddamn farce. It's- it's gonna be- it, it's... Not shitty on purpose, but it's meant to be... Uh, I, I, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, <laughs> there is definitely an element of parody in what I'm doing. Vaccine the blender. No, you're fine. Don't- don't even worry about it. I super appreciate all the help you're giving me. <laughs> oh. But, like, there's certainly, like, a certain element of, like, camp and nonsense to what I'm trying to build here, so, like... <laughs> if it's not perfect, that is perfect. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Listen, it's camp. <laughs> I think the idea of trying to make something intentionally shitty is a bad idea. Um... But, making something intentionally campy is a different story altogether. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, did that... Yes, good, we're on... Okay. Also, I haven't saved this at all. Oh, that's actually the right... I, I was like, I don't want to dox myself. I'm going to put this over here. It's actually fine, though. Alright, now. Two hops this time. He is now almost a cash register, by the way. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that for the time being. <laughs> you know, I didn't mean to make this guy booty thick, but he is slowly becoming booty thick. <laughs> That's just the way it is sometimes, Chad. <laughs> Do got a dumper, though. Chat, can I just call out the fact that I labeled this long stream and then started like fucking half an hour late? <laughs> <laughs> that is all. <laughs> Not you. Undo you. No, stop. Get out of my life. Oh, you're part of this too. What's happening? Dude, I'm clicking... I, I don't know what's going on there. Just undo all of that. Need to round him out on the side as well, because right now he's a, like... He's no longer a cash register, I don't know what this is now. <laughs> um, definitely needs to be taken in on the sides here. Also, why am I, like, kind of in wireframe mode, even though I'm not anymore? What, what's up with that? What is, what is that mode? This? No. I don't know what's up with that. My render settings? Oh shit. Uh. Oh. Uh. It's not my render settings. X ray. Blender. Disable X ray. Turn off X ray. There we go. No. Someone was just stuck in wireframe mode. That's the post I just looked at. <laughs> Amazing. The two overlapping circles. Oh, these guys. Nice, thank you. I've said it before and I'll say it again. <laughs> I do love Blender for what it is, but god damn their UI is terrible. <laughs> I'm on, uh... I mean, you've been pretty on point with what I, what you've been saying as far as, like, shortcuts and stuff go, but for reference, I am on version... Oh. <laughs> version 330, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's not the end of the world. It's fine, but... Uh, I'm gonna try to Google more specifically. Toggle X-ray mode. Yeah, here we go. Well, under crashes, whatever. As long as you're not on two seven. 
I don't mind updating, but I... I don't mind going back either, but... I mean, really, I just don't know what I'm doing is the biggest problem of any Blender interactions I have. <laughs> it's a me problem. Wait, don't... No, 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 no. Don't do that. Um, I think these three all at once, if I move these, is kind of what I'm looking for. That's kind of too much. What does... what does the... mouse middle do? Okay, that's actually not right, though. We maybe start at the corner. Oof. Wait. No, cancel this. No, undo that. Fuck you. Stop. <laughs> like your AT-AT? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, what? An edge loop with control click on the first vertice? This body is too big. Side note. Hold on. I need to move all of these forward, actually. Holding control? Oh. No, that's not what you're talking about, though. Actually, heck, we can just duplicate that on the bottom as well. Minus three, minus point three. God damn it! <laughs> Come on, G. Minus point three. So I'm looking for. All right. Cool. Then we go down a little bit. They're gonna both go in the same direction. I cannot. I need to. <laughs> Do these separately, but we'll do the same numbers, so it'll be okay. Some point two. Positive point two for this side. Nice. Alright. Nice butt plug. <laughs> That's his face! You can't say that to someone like that. Joking, but also hell yes. Just wait till I have to fucking... Um... Rig this fucking thing. Great model so far. <laughs> Thanks, it's not. I drew a picture? Hell yeah. Nice picture, Carly. I need to round out the sides here. <laughs> I need to do that, like, now. <laughs> um... Fuck. <laughs> Get rigged, idiot. Oh... I have a tip on it? Sure. I've been taking a lot of advice while I've been doing this. <laughs> Oh, it's alt click. Okay, I was wondering, I'm like, shift control click is just selecting more stuff. Ah, oh, dude, that is insanely helpful. Thank you. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it really will. <laughs> you are 1000% correct there. Um.
Control plus click will select the line and tap G twice. You can slide the edge line. Also very cool. Thank you. Also, it was alt click as as we just found out. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, but control click just selects multiple things. <laughs> I don't know how to turn off x-ray mode, but that's okay. It doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't matter at all. Chat, I'm not done yet, but I do have to pee, so I'll be right back. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh yeah, no, definitely shortcuts have changed, buttons changed, cross versions and whatnot. Be right back. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, yeah, I know it looks like wireframe mode, but it ain't, as, as stated in chat. Uh, crap. Wish I hadn't made the head yet, although that is actually a couple other vertices I have to disable. Shoot. Stupid tiny neck with way too many vertices. <laughs> Unselect. What do you? <laughs> Why? God damn it. <laughs> Those don't need to be connected. How do I disconnect them? If you don't mind me asking. Wait, what am I even doing? Hold on. We're trying I'm trying to round out the side here. That's kind of alright. Might just want to swing from the armature and overlap. Delete the edges from side view. Which edges? These edges? Wait a second, I did move this to the side, like very slightly, damn it! <laughs> Moving it back though, it's fine. 
Wrong way. I am super not following. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going in my own direction. <laughs> All good? Hell yeah. getting there slowly but I'm getting there wrong way uh, wrong row but close please oh he's clicked twice oh my god that's so simple <laughs> I was about to say how does it know I've just gotten lucky the last two times <laughs> No, wait, I want positive point three. There we go. Nope. Gosh darn tiny neck nodes. <laughs> Getting there. Um, not right. <laughs> uh, take multiple arms, I think. We're gonna want that to point down to a single point, but we can do just what we did for the head, just on a longer basis. Not five, I meant to hit point five. <laughs> Actually, one is probably pretty good, and then we trim that down, right? Um, wait, no, 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 hold on. Shit. How do I want to do this? I almost want to, like, start at one point, and then... Oh, wait, no, if we subdivide here, then we can just make it from this... Like, this is a joint, right? So, subdivide, and now this is what gets extruded. Mm, wait, though. Yeah, super localized to just the arm itself. This is actually just what I want as far as the... Uh... Like, I want this to just be like a, a talon or like a, a sharp thing coming out. Although, also, I should be more precise about how much I'm moving it out. I keep doing five, not five. Probably two. Two is good. Maybe 2.5, actually. Negatives for this side because it's the other direction. Didn't. Well, I did select four things, just one of them was wrong. <laughs> uh, subdivide these. 
Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's actually the same way. <laughs> GY 2.5. No, it is negative. I pressed negative. I don't know why that... Whatever, man. It's fine. Everything is fine here. That's cute, lol. <laughs> Thanks. This is- this- Believe it or not, this is my vision. <laughs> what is happening? That's not 2.5. Oh, I hit point before- Okay, no, now I know what happened. <laughs> Did it again, goddammit. G. Y. Negative. 2. Then point 0.5. Here we go. Jesus. You know, I was gonna get this guy six legs initially. We still could. We could put legs in here and here. We're gonna do it. Damn it, I clicked the wrong thing again. I did it again. How is this happening? Or maybe... No, I've been clicking the right thing the whole time. Damn it. I didn't set an axis. GY 2.5. Um, what? I don't know why these don't light up, but that's okay. I am on the right nodes, so it doesn't actually matter. G, Y, negative, 2.5. Boom. Boom, chat. Boom. Alright, we gotta bone this boy up now. That's actually fine. I, I was gonna round his body in more, but I kinda like where it's at. Alright. Bone time. Someone teach me how to do rigging. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. I actually need another vertex here, don't I? I want this to be double jointed and Hungarian or whatever the fuck that. It's not even a meme, it's just an ancient joke from a movie. Uh, fuck. I need there to be like a joint here. And he doesn't have one currently. I hope I can fix this. If I can, everything's Gucci. If not, I already saved, and that's a problem. Well, that's certainly a lot of joints. Yeah. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, now we can move the arm around like this. That's good. That'll do. Wait. Why does this guy have extra? Oh, because you're on this side? I guess? Alright, it's the same overall. We, we got it right. Oh no, there are just that many points. Oh yeah, because we subdivided. Right, 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 right. Okay. Seems to be like way too high poly for what it is. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Screw efficiency. I'm working in one of the most efficient engines of all. Godot. <laughs> Real comment, not sarcasm. chat. Not the song, but here we go. Getting our mesh together. Good luck on your blender journey. I'm heading out. Have a good one. Thanks for your help. Chill. That's not right. <laughs> Sorry, I still don't know how to pronounce your username. 
but have a good night. Thanks for hanging out and thanks for the help. <laughs> Chael. That's probably not right either. Regardless, take care. <laughs> Chad, I think I think I might actually just do the bones next time. We got our guy. I need to figure out how to turn off x-ray mode. Is it this button? Oh, it's no, it's not just that button. Dang it. I don't know how to turn off x-ray mode. I've tried. That failed. Wait, what? Oh, it's that button. Dang it. Found it. Here's our boy. He needs some bones. But we'll do that next time. Um, yeah, no, I think the two things I want to work on next time... We're gonna do... Uh, I guess rigging of this enemy. Because I do want more enemies. Well, we actually have an AI for something that I want this to work with. Um, it's just I've been reusing the same model for both of those things. Um, we can put some animations on it too by rigging it up. Oh, wait, crap. What did I do here? This is not equal. Ugh. Well, we'll figure that out next time, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I did here. This, this thing's like off. Oh, you know what? Actually, I do know what I did here. I moved this node and this node only in by like three. Or point three. Wrong axis, actually. <laughs> there we go. Now they match. But yeah, we'll pick this up next time. Uh, stream is not over, by the way. I got something planned. But next time, we'll, we'll rig this guy up. Um, and then from there on, I also... I want to get a weapon uh, implemented into the game, as well as ammo. And then start coding some, like, back-end stuff for, like, how that's going to functionally work. Um... Most of what we did tonight was really just getting our item box working, but it's working like super well right now, actually. <laughs> this thing, beautiful. It actually, even, even the like inventory menu fucking works somehow. Like, I don't know why, but like when I open my actual inventory, it's sometimes just jank. Sometimes it's not, like right now it was fine. If I go into this room, it might be jank suddenly. Maybe I fixed this too, even though I didn't touch any code around how the, this menu works. <laughs> um, but that's the main thing we did tonight. This guy's still alive, right? Yeah, he can chase me. Okay. But we get a weapon put together next time. And um, we won't quite get all the animation code for that put together, because I need to redo the, the player. Like... These animations are mine that the player is doing right now, but um, this model is not mine, and it's not. I can edit it. Like I have like the Blender files for it. I could edit it to be something I want. I'd rather just actually make something that's like more representative of like what I want for this game. But you know, we modeled a new enemy. We got our item box working both functionally and UI wise so that's pretty cool um then yeah I don't know chat go fuck yourself no I'm <laughs> kidding uh hang tight we're gonna play a game in just a second I'm gonna take another break really quick though and then we will play some games I'm happy with where we landed even though it's only been like two and a half hours. We got a lot done tonight. For reals.